The new stepped up COVID-19 community care facilities will have close to 250 beds for elderly COVID-19 patients who are generally well. They will also be equipped with more medical and nursing manpower, as well as segregated levels for different clusters of patients. The current NTUC health nursing home in Tampanese will be repurposed to become the first enhanced facility. Tan Sehui with this report. This nursing home opened last month, housing some 17 residents. It will now be repurposed to provide clinical care to COVID-19 patients who are stable and have mild symptoms, but have some underlying conditions that require closer monitoring. Around 240 beds are available here. Each ward level has four different clusters, and each cluster is self-sufficient. It has a toilet as well as shower facilities that you can see right behind me. And this could possibly prevent further cross-infection of COVID patients at the repurposed community care facility. There are isolation rooms, a dining space, and even a garden, similar to hospitals for patients who require long-term care. The Health Ministry is working with Woodlands Health to set up this new stepped-up community care facility, but arrangements are still being worked out. All this came at short notice, according to NTUC Health. Around 30 staff who stayed at a dormitory here had to quickly transfer to one of three other nursing homes. 17 patients were also shifted out. It was quite shocking. So, um, of course, we uh, allay the anxiety that we make sure that their tra uh, transition and transfer to our other nursing home is seamless. We also make arrangements such as ambulance transfer for them. They also took an antigen rapid test before moving out to prevent cross-contamination. The new community care facility will be operational on Thursday. Meantime, the Health Ministry is enhancing existing care facilities, such as this one at Connect at Changi. When it becomes fully operational on Friday, it will provide 50 beds for the same profile of elderly patients. These patients are also placed uh, on devices that enable us to monitor the vital signs uh, uh, remotely. MOH says it is continuously monitoring hospital capacity and urges asymptomatic individuals who test positive for COVID-19 to stay home.